So everybody's out there, you know, you can tell John has obviously worked this and figured this out. He's done some trial and error. One of the things that was really important to me, so people have the right expectations, um, is what does it actually take to do this? And John, maybe just tell people a little bit, what should they expect? If they buy realty tracks, what do they need to do? What kind of time commitment do they need to make to it? Sure. Uh, the big thing is you're just not sure when you're going to get email from Realty Track that somebody's interested in the uh, zip code that you've, you've purchased. And I've had the most success is when I pick up the phone and call them as soon as I get the email. Uh, if that, you know, it's just, it's just a general conversation. You know, hello, I'm calling from Century 21. I work with Realty Track. I got an email with your contact information on it. How can I help you? Just a simple opening line and then let them talk then based on you know what they what they say what their criteria is again I go through the process okay you know what you see in realty track may not be active in the MLS let me look okay then I'll take it to the next step but tell me what your criteria is you know and then three bedrooms single family and again the whole time just building to try to send them a search criteria to earn their trust that hey I'm, gonna, I'm here to help you, okay? I'm going to send you listings. We can change the criteria. We can discuss different areas. Nothing is set in stone. Have you been pre-approved? And then I'll send them the listings. I'll send them an introduction an email from me, put them on a drip campaign, and just, you know, based on the conversation, just like any, you know, customer, do you want me to call you back in a week after you've looked at things? Do you want me to call you back in a couple of days? And just take it from there. Terrific.